The best kind of doors are the doors you have to explain. Welcome to Unhinge with the Door Dork, where door hardware nerds get together. We knock, we slam, and uh, on different uh, door fails, poor installs, uh, code violations, all of the above. Um, we learn, we laugh, sometimes we even cry because it's so bad. <laughs> but most importantly, we have fun while we dork out on doors, you know? <laughs> um, today, we have a very special guest, Mr. Kevin Waring. Um, formerly with Norton Rickson, but now he's making a little transition here, but I'll let him introduce himself and tell us a little fun fact today. Yeah, great. Th thanks, Benji. Appreciate it. Um, happy to be here. So Kevin Waring, I am now the Director of Business Development for the Yale Commercial Team. Been on the Asa Abelie team for the past five years. In fact, on the 24th of July was my fifth year. Um, started with Norton and Rickson for the first five and, and have now transitioned into the Yale. So uh, part of a great team, part of a great family here and, and absolutely love it. Um, and in, in regards to a, a fun fact, I thought maybe I, I might capitalize on, on the fact that Mia has NASCAR that runs into her blood, literally. So I thought maybe sharing a fun NASCAR fact would be good because some, some of you may know that I do like to drive a little bit fast every now and then. Uh, but I was fortunate enough on three different occasions to uh, drive both my personal vehicle as well as a NASCAR vehicle at the Pocono Long Pond Speedway. So uh, it, it was an awesome blast. And I, I hit 172 miles an hour in, in a Ford NASCAR. So, man, that is crazy. That's fast. I, I could I could not imagine going that fast in a car. But if you're in the right condition, why not? <laughs> it, it, it was a rush. It was a thrill. Uh Awesome. I would love to do it again in a heartbeat. So uh, my personal vehicle, I did not get that fast, but I did exceed 100 miles an hour in my personal vehicle. So I, I think once when I was young and a little bit more reckless, I, I drove my mom's minivan and I pushed it over 100. So that was that was pretty impressive for back in the day, I think. But um, I will say, though, now that I have three kids, don't know that I'd uh, uh, push it to that envelope any further, but it, it was great to do pre kids. All right. Well, welcome, Kevin. We are so happy to have you on the show. Um, you know her. You love her. Mrs. Mia Mara, why don't you hop on and uh, say hi and let's share another fun fact. Yeah. Hello. Welcome to this episode of Unhinged and welcome, Kevin. Kevin and I work on the same team at Asa Abloy. So uh, friends, co-workers, we're <laughs> located far apart, though. We don't work in the same state. Um, <laughs> so my fun fact for today uh, so it's act I'm actually in the office today, not working from home, but, uh, our house, we bought a little over two years ago. And I was recently looking for a spare key to leave for someone. Cause we were on vacation as y'all remember from the pictures. Um, but I found a key and I'm not going to show my bidding because I know this industry. Um, <laughs> but, uh, key was, uh, I guess our house was rekeyed by Rackliff Lock, which is a local locksmith in the area that I live. And I know Rick, the owner, is a fan of the channel. So I thought I would give a shout out to Rick and the Rackliff uh, crew. So I thought that was really fun. Um, I know that Rick has been watching and he actually was one of the winners from the giveaway this past month for our one year anniversary. Nice, nice. What goes around comes around. I love it. All right, Benji, what's your fun fact? My turn. Well, yeah. I definitely don't have a cool NASCAR story like Kevin, but um, so uh, if I, so a lot of people ask if I collect old hardware or like historic hardware or door hardware. And I think if I did, it would take over my whole place. Like it would be too much. So I, I had to put a limit to keys. So I do collect old keys very cool skeleton keys just keys in general so if you ever have any fun cool old looking keys let me know um but i do collect them i've got uh some that are like hung up in some mantles but uh here are some old yale there's an old corbin on here and even a sergeant as well so um yeah send keys because they're a lot smaller than door closers <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so for those who don't know how Unhinge works, and again, I don't, I guess I didn't say this, but I apologize for my voice. I'm just getting back from the uh, SIA Accelerize conference. 
Um, and uh, my voice is completely shot. Uh, I think just as Kevin said earlier, uh, singing along too loud to the country music. <laughs> Was that the cup you stole? Yes, yes. Fun fact, this is the cup that I accidentally stole that I'm actually very embarrassed about, but it turned into like a great thing. And like, it was like a reoccurring joke. I kept on showing up each day with the cup and uh, it was, it's, it's fun now. And I'll bring it to next year's Accelerize. So uh, look you forward. Can, you can return it. For those who don't know how Unhinge works, um, I will share my screen of uh, three different door fails, installs, something wrong, code violations. We'll give it a knocking score. Uh, one being not too knocking bad, 10 being very knocking bad. Uh, call the AHJ, let's report this, let's get this taken care of because uh, something is terribly wrong and people are in danger because of this. Um, and since I just got back from Austin, uh, as people know, when I'm out and about traveling, I like to go door hunting as what I call it. I'm, I'm hunting for uh, doors and I found a couple of gems that I want to share with you guys. Um, today. How does that sound? You guys ready? Let's do it. Yeah, absolutely. Kevin, I don't know if you're ready. Are you ready? I I'm I'm waiting for it. I'm excited. Are you sure? <laughs> I'm ready. Let's do it. I, I just do do most people not know that you need to put a key into a lock? At least it's 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 well uh well visual. I mean Oh yeah. No, that's very bright, vibrant. You know, that's that's clarifying like exactly what you're supposed to do with this door. Where where were they putting the key? I, I don't want to know, Mia. I don't want to know. Well, and, and I'm curious, why such a huge plate to cover that? What what were they covering up before? Yeah, no, that makes me concerned what was there before. <laughs> Maybe that's where like a deadbolt was or something, and they just added that, I don't know, to cover it up. Yeah, I mean, you can tell that there's a number of screw holes on that door. So this door has been repurposed a number of times. Yeah. Even yeah. I think towards when you get towards the middle. Yeah. That so one, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I missed that one. That yeah. one for. But yeah, I want to know where where they were trying to put it that we need this. And like that's like an official sign, also. Like they spent some good amount of money. That's like the thick, like plastic signs that like have the sticky back, adhesive back, right? Yeah. You know how when you're in, you're like taking a test and the question is like so simple that you're like I'm missing something like I, it's too simple that I missed. I like you start overcomplicating it. Like I'd be looking at this going, what am I missing? I'm supposed to be putting my key somewhere else. So that's <laughs> the first thing I thought too. Almost like you're looking for the hotel key card, the, the mag slot to go into. Yeah. I wonder if they had some kind of other setup. Maybe it was an access system set up on that door that they took off and now they're just retraining the people how to use the door or I don't know. Be sad if they took the step backwards to go from access to mechanical. I couldn't see that. I want to know what it looks like under that scar plate, since you can see that there's been at least like two or three other scar plates. It's, I mean, it's got to be Swiss cheese. Yeah, maybe the sign is for the integrity of the door. It's, it's just that's the only thing that's holding it together. It's like a bandaid. Maybe they just took a deadbolt off and they didn't want to put another scar plate on because they would have had to take oh, off the whole lock. Oh, that's that's what it's got to be, Which right? Which means like, it's not fire compliant. Not that wood doors are really super fire compliant. They're like, what, 20 minutes? But there could be a gaping hole under there. It's probably not fire compliant with all these holes either in it. I know yeah. I know the so, roll inch diameter, but I think those still have to be filled in. Okay, not too knocking bad, but I thought it was just kind of funny. What What do you guys think? Do you want to give it a knocking score? I, I think I would throw it out there at a three. I mean, it's 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 interesting, but I don't think this is AHJ worthy or it'd be nice to have a conversation with their facilities manager on this one. Yeah, I'm in like the three range too, because let's just say they're retraining. Then it's actually pretty low, right? It's like they probably should have replaced the door by now, but it's still functioning. But if they just put that there to cover up a gaping hole, then I think it's actually higher. So, <laughs> But we'll stay at three because more information needed. I agree. I agree. Not too knocking bad. Let's jump into the next one if you guys are ready. If you want to be featured on a future episode of Unhinged or you have a picture to submit, leave a comment down below.